Here we are, here we are in uh, Mont Saint Anne, and this is the uh, Win TV race recap. I just did anything I could to make make it happen to get to the races. Uh, at one point, I was hitchhiking on the back of a motorbike through Italy and uh, sleeping on the side of the road. So it was pretty rough at points. And uh, there were times there where I was kind of having my doubts, why am I doing this? The first season in, in Europe, it, it took a while because uh, I couldn't afford to do it as a junior. So I pretty much headed to Australia, started landscaping, and then I got a job like doing on and off work in the mines. And um, pretty much just just anything I could do to get enough money together. We made it work and then made it to Europe in 2008 for my first season. Win TV was pretty much from, uh, I did my first ever video after my first season. So I just bought a, a handy cam and a MacBook and I was like, I'm gonna start documenting this stuff because it's quite cool. Go on, go on. Was it an exciting race to commentate on? I think people enjoy, really enjoy the Wind TV because it gives a lot of backstories behind the race that that don't get told and you get to see the true personalities. Everyone's favourite speed dealer. Eh? I follow some motocross podcasts and they were doing this privateer thing. They were awarding privateers, so they was on this Pulp MX podcast and um, I was like, this is pretty cool what they're doing, giving back to the guys that need it and uh, the girls that need it. So um, I was like, well, I could do something in mountain biking and it started from there. Yeah, for 2023, it's like, I wanted to do a little bit more than what the privateer award is and be able to try and document the story along the way. So I was like, why don't we try and create a, a program that allows them to have full support at each race and and give a little bit more than just some cash. So I was like, try and bring all my sponsors together to make it happen. And uh, we've managed to pull it off. So to choose the rider that um, will join my program each race, it will be the fastest privateer at each race wins the privateer award. And then the following race, they come into our team, they've got full support and all the sponsors have come together and we even give them a bike. If they, if they want the bike, like if they've got an old bike, they can have our bike. We've got a full bike thanks to all the sponsors and we give them that bike and a mechanic for the race and full support, food, accommodation, everything. So we try and tell those stories and, um, and boost their profile and give them full support and uh, hopefully they can get some results as well. It's a tough question. Is it harder to be a privateer now or when I did it? It's never going to be easy, but um, maybe I would say it's probably harder now because everyone's got a bit more support at the races. I think. Uh, pretty much just keep chipping away at whatever your dream is and and hopefully eventually one day you get there and and I think if you keep working at it you will so um, yeah just chase your dreams I would say yeah